Hello guys, my name is Eugene and today we are going to discuss the best recommendations that will help to grow your SEO for WordPress website. The first thing that you need to start with is choosing the right template for your WordPress website. It will impact the performance that you will have lifetime, it will impact your website speed, the functionalities you will have on the website, and obviously it will impact your SEO growth, it will impact your traffic and your profitability, the results that you will get from this website in the future. The second tip, it's absolutely linked to our previous tip, is website speed and core web vitals. In fact, the templates that you will choose will impact Core Web Vitals, your website speed, your LCP, last content payful, FCP, first content payful, as well as all other indicators that are increasing your performance of your website, that are simplifying the way users are navigating and using your website. If you already own a template and it has bad website speed and has Core Web Vitals issues, you can ask your developers to switch the template and to just move your content from your old website to the new one. If it will not work well, if you want to proceed with your existing template, you can just ask them to improve the website feed, for example, by buying a better server that will have specific functions to boost your WordPress website and to grow your SEO. So you have your website without any issues with a good website speed and the next thing you need to take care about is your SEO friendly links. In fact, the structures that you will build inside your website with the links, it's very important because it's showing to Google what is more important for it to index and what is less important. Our main recommendation is to have one level or two level structure URLs and not go forward. Just because this one level, the first level that you have, or the second level that you will see on the screen right now, they will allow you to index your content higher, to get better for positions for your keywords and to grow your SEO faster. Here's the next step that is crucial for growing your SEO on a WordPress website. There are tons of plugins that can help you with SEO, but there is only one that is the most important and it's called Yoast SEO. Yoast SEO will help you to build the right link structure. It will help you to configure your brand crops of the website that will help to navigate easier. It will help you to configure the right metadata on your website and overall it will boost your SEO. Additionally, you have a premium package on Yoast SEO that will open you specific functions available on the wizard and it will help you to simplify your process of building the right content links, etc. The next thing that you need to consider for your website is building the right sitemap. Sitemap is a structure of your website made in one file called sitemap XML that is placed on your website and showing to Google or any other search engines how your website is built, what is the structure internally, what is the importance of each page. Yoast SEO will help you to build the right sitemap and the only thing that you will need to do is to submit this sitemap on Google Search Console as we will show you right now in an example. So you're going to Google Search Console, on the left you're choosing sitemap and you're taping your URL of your sitemap. You can check it before by tapping on your search bar and you will find it. So submit your sitemap and make sure it was successfully submitted because sometimes it can be rejected. Another tip that is very important, especially if you're using Yoast SEO, but other SEO plugins are helping with this as well, is providing your metadata on the bottom of each page. What does it mean? So you're opening your blog post that you recently made, you're scrolling down, you will have SEO sections by, made by Yoast SEO, and you will need to fill it out in order to see if your blog post that you made is relevant to the keywords that you would like to promote inside this blog post. Additionally, it will help you to provide the metadata like title of your article of your blog post and description that will help Google to understand what's inside, better index your article and give it like more ranking, more traffic to this particular page. Another important thing for any WordPress website is internal link building. Internal link building is helping you to link one article to another one, one page to another one, your service to a blog or a blog to a service. It helps to navigate to your clients, to your users that are coming to your website. And additionally, it increases the ranking of each page, how it works. So basically, you are sharing the value, you are sharing the page ranking from one page to another and boosting one to another by just placing the link between them. Another important thing, a lot of website owners just forgetting about is optimizing images. 
Right now, Google is not allowing you to use PNG, GPG or any other format except WebP. So make sure you replace all your images with WebP and additionally, you need to make sure that the frames that you have on your website, the size of these frames is fitting the images that you are uploading in these frames. You will just decrease the size of your images, it will increase your website speed, it will smooth the navigation, it will smooth opening each page and overall it will boost you in terms of search engines like Google. The next tip that we need to discuss is placing alt text or all images that you are placing on your website. This is a crucial thing most people just don't know about, but each image has alt text, another called alternative text that is placed on this image to explain to Google what is on this image. Google can't understand what you have on the particular image, so you are helping with the text that it can read, that can like crawl and understand and use it in order to index those images, to index your pages and to grow your SEO. The final recommendation, avoid having empty pages on your website and close all the paginations that you have on your website. Paginations is the numbers of your pages, for example, on blogs, so you have blog page number one, blog page number two, blog page number three, all these pages must be hidden in order to not appear on Google search engines because they will be treated as useless content and you will just underperform your website. Use these recommendations that we gave you in this video to succeed with SEO for your WordPress website. If you have any particular questions about your WordPress website and how you can grow your SEO, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. Stay tuned and feel the difference with Webogol.